Hello there, Jose Rodriguez here again. We're going to be doing a front load print using my Canson watercolor paper. It is thick, so we're going to be using the front feed. And in order to do so, you need to open up the rear feed, which is just a matter of doing this. Okay, and then we're going to press and lower this. It's a little bit tricky, you have to get it just right. right there like that. You want to line up the front edge with the edge of the tray. So there's no arrow to have to deal with. Once that is aligned, make sure that it's against the right guide. Okay. You will feel a little catch in the back, but sometimes it's just a matter of the paper curling a little bit. So once you get it lined up, press OK. And then you will see the paper being pulled back and it'll emerge out of the rear guide. Once it does that, then it's ready to go, and we will then lower this plate. Now this is an 11 by 15, so it's going to be an odd size, and we made a custom paper size. Okay, open the output tray and push to close the manual feed tray. So now we have the output tray open. And we'll just go ahead and send the print job over. We're going to be using Epson Watercolor Brilliant White Profile. We're using OEM inks. And that has been proven in the past to work pretty well with this particular paper. So give me a few minutes and I will go ahead and load the image. Now in the driver, you will have a choice from your top feed, roll feed, and then the front fine art loading and it'll have two choices either fine art paper or poster board you're going to pick of course fine art paper if you pick poster board it's going to then create a larger gap between your paper and the print head and that will cause blurring so remember you have to have poster board that's like 1.5 millimeters in thickness this certainly is, does not meet that category so we're going to use that setting to be fine art paper as soon as the there we go it's fully spooled and now the printer will begin printing if everything is correct then the paper will feed without any kind of problem and as you can see it's begun to print and now we'll wait until it's done then of course this paper has to be dried and then overcoated with the Krylon Glossy which is my favorite choice for this type of paper. It actually imparts a slight, slight bit of uh, sheen and that increases your black density, your contrast somewhat. It doesn't do magic, okay? This is, remember, this is uncoated paper and it's going to look like a print that was printed on uncoated paper. If you want a photographic rendition, then you're going to have to use a coated inkjet type photo paper. But for the type of images that I do, I often when I do a larger print, like a 17 by 24, I will use the Canson watercolor paper and it comes out wonderful. It's not really suitable for small prints because of the dot gain problem that uncoated papers have. You will end up having a little bit of dot spread and so you will lose detail if your prints are smaller than say this size, 11 by 15. I prefer to use the larger papers and get wonderful results. You may have seen a previous video that I did on the 3800 using this particular paper. And you saw at the end it came out quite wonderful. Even the Pro 100, and I did not have a profile made for the paper, so I was using just with the precision color dye inks, and it did a remarkable job. When you touch the paper, it will feel quite damp. This paper absorbs ink like a sponge, again, because of the lack of coating. It has a, a certain uh, sizing to the surface because it is designed for actual watercolor painting and not at all for inkjet printing, as I am doing here. So I'm kind of uh, stepping outside the box, pushing the envelope, I guess. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's fine. The world is open for all sorts of experimentation, and this is one of those times where I just go nuts sometimes. All right, so it's almost done. As you can see, the shadows are not very dark. 
the detail is there. We're going to go ahead and let it dry, and once we spread, it'll look just fine. And that is our image right there. So we'll go ahead and let this puppy dry, and uh, once we get it all nice and dry, we'll spray it, and then I'll give you a shot of that. All right. So if you have any questions about how this is done, just ask below. Please like, please subscribe, please share. Until the next time, happy printing. Bye-bye.